John Henry Newman was one of those scholars who have opened intellectual paths that guide people into the unknown. This is the valued opinion of Father Fabio Attard, who last week was the keynote speaker on the English Cardinal, beatified by Pope Benedict during his recent visit to England, at an event to mark the start of the academic year at the Salesian Theological Institute in Jerusalem. Given that the Anglicanism of his youth and the Catholicism that later received the Cardinal have significantly changed since Newman died 120 years ago, can this English convert still be a guiding light today? He is not only a guiding light, he is a shining light. In the sense that uh, in his experience, both of uh, Anglicanism and Catholicism, there were guiding principles who were at work in his search for truth. What Newman was after wasn't forms or shapes that would not stand the trial of time. What Newman was after was the basic and the fundamental dimensions of being a believer, of being a member of the body of Christ. So basically what Newman did in his search for truth was how could he, within the Anglican communion in the beginning and later on within the Catholic Church, continue to search for that truth of which he was after on an intellectual level, but it was an intellectual search which was a consequence of a heart which was after that relationship with God which would then interpret it. The song entitled Lead Me Kindly Light was written by Newman when he was aboard a passenger ship engulfed by fog in the Mediterranean for a week. A Maltese Salesian priest, Father Moulay Stagno, adapted the words to new music for the occasion. In the lecture in Jerusalem, Father Attard highlighted the importance that Cardinal Newman has placed in the return to apostolic times and to heed the advice of the fathers of the church. And in this sense that what Newman basically is saying to us today is what he lived himself. Let us go to find our rootedness because if we are rooted, if we are not rooted, we are uprooted. And an uprooted tree is not going to produce any fruit. If it's going to produce anything, it's going to produce only dryness and eventually death. John Henry Newman, for Father Attard, an English cardinal almost certainly on the path to sainthood. <laughs>